Melvin, can you can you uh, just take us through the the fumble, what you saw, and and just what's going through your mind given the way the first four games have gone for you in that department? Uh, just gotta be better, man. You know, <sighs> ain't no excuse for it. Um, Were you trying to do too much in that situation? It don't matter if I'm trying to do too much or, you know, I feel this way or that way. Um, my job is, you know, to go out there and make plays, you know, hold on to the ball, um, you know, and help put this team in the best position to win. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't do that today, but, uh, you know, I'll be all right. Melvin, you mentioned a couple of days ago that you were doing extra work on uh, ball security on the practice field. So, like, how frustrating is it that, you know, you put the extra work in and it still happens? So this was Denver Broncos running back Melvin Gordon's reaction after a reporter asked the running back on his thoughts about his fumbling issues as a play going all the way back to last season. For those of you who missed last Sunday's game, the Broncos running back made a costly fumble right before the end of the first half against the Raiders when the score was all tied at 10. This was at a critical point in the game as the Broncos offense looked to take the lead as they were already in field goal range before the football popped out of the running back's hands. To make matters worse, Raiders corner Meek Robertson turned the fumble into a score as he ran the ball all the way to the end zone. Denver lost the game 32-23 to fall 2-2 for the season and are struggling to get much going on offense. This is Russell Wilson's first season in mile high and things haven't gone as expected. And a lot of the finger pointing is directed at the QB and the running back. In his last 44 carries, Gordon has fumbled the football 5 times which just kills any momentum for an offense and really hinders the defense putting them back out on the field so quickly. To top it off, last Sunday marked the third time a Melvin Gordon fumble has been returned for a touchdown in his last 12 games. Guys, Denver had huge aspirations of contending for the top spot in the AFC West, however all these little mistakes on the field can be a difference between victory and defeat. So this issue is really costing the whole team, and I'm gonna be honest, I feel really bad for the guy. Obviously he doesn't want to put his team in this sort of position, but it seems like this is an issue with his confidence. He knows it's inexcusable and simply has to do better. But what's even more concerning than Gordon's lack of ball security is the current state of his mental health. During the press conference, you could see him hiding behind those sunglasses and tugging on a yellow hat in shame before walking off the podium after answering only three questions in less than two minutes. He's obviously struggling with this and probably feels like he's being placed under a microscope but we've all been there. Now it's just a matter of how he can overcome these demons and get back to his old self. And it's not going to be easy, especially after the recent loss of teammate running back Javante Williams who's out for the season as this is just going to place more pressure on the 29 year old veteran. Anyways, I hope Melvin Gordon can bounce back next week as the Denver Broncos face the Indianapolis Colts on Thursday Night Football.